How's it going, guys? My name is Zach with the Movie Castle, and today we're going to be doing something a little bit different. You see, I actually found some really cool fish tank ornaments, and I wanted to take the time to show you guys them. You see, I always like to, you know, walk around and explore Walmart, and a constantly fun place to go is their pet section. You know, I have a dog and two cats, you know, I'll buy them little things. But I'll also check out the fish tank section because the fish tank decorations are always so fun, you know. You see like skulls and divers looking in treasure chest and a bunch of like Spongebob ones came out recently. And I always liked looking at them but I never really bought any because, you know, I, I don't own a fish. But recently there was a new line of Steven Spielberg fish tank ornaments and I found four of them and they're from his movies Jaws and Jurassic Park, two from each. And to be honest, they were just such cool little statues that I couldn't help but pick them up. Like I said, I don't have a fish tank, so I'll be using these as just desk ornaments. But lots of really cool stuff, you know, being a big fan of Jaws and I really do like Jurassic Park as well. Um, yeah, I, I couldn't resist these. So. Uh, we're going to go ahead and switch to the close-up camera, and I'll show you these four fish tank ornaments that I found. Lots and lots of really fun little stuff here. I really do like these little statues. So, without further ado, to the close-up camera. Alright guys, here we are in the castle, and we're going to take a closer look at these fish tank ornaments. I'll start off with the two Jaws ones, and then we'll move into the Jurassic Park ones. And of course, we have to start off with this nice little bust of Bruce himself, the shark from Jaws. And this is a swim through, so the fish can swim through in and out of the shark's mouth, which I thought was really fun, you know. You see a lot of the fish tunnels, and hey, now, now, now Jaws can shoot the fish out of his mouth. I thought that was pretty fun. He's got this flat bottom here. So you can lay him flat like this, and he's pointed slightly up, and then you have the back here, and I kind of want to do something. Hold this up to you guys. Ah, now you're, you're going through a shark mouth. Isn't that cool? <laughs> anyway, um, so yeah, the inside of him is all red, and it actually does have a texture, which I thought was pretty cool. Just uh, repeating line texture makes him feel really organic, and it's not just a flat shape. And boy, they did a really good job with this paint. It really does look like it would feel like a shark. And then you get the black eyes, like a doll's eyes. And then you get multiple rows of little teeth. Now, when I went to pick this one up, that was the hardest part, is the teeth. Luckily, if they break off, there was white underneath. It's a white ceramic, so they don't look as noticeable as you think. But I had to do a ton of work carefully inspecting every single one to find one that had all his little teeth there so if you guys really want to make sure you get a perfect one you have to check the teeth and there was like four there and I think one had pretty good teeth but it had like a crack on the back this was the perfect one where it's got all its pieces all its teeth so I really did like that and it was just such a really good statue of the shark from Jaws I found myself like clinching it as I was walking out because this was the perfect one I didn't want to break it but yeah really cool shark I don't know I'm a shark geek and this is just like the coolest <laughs> so anyway there's the bust of Bruce the swim through and this other one I felt was pretty cool as well this is the climatic scene from Jaws with the orca and it's the the shark is jumping up and pushing it underwater. Now, sadly, the boat here doesn't say Orca on the side. I don't know if that was just too much detail or if there was some copyright issue, but no Orca. And also, our heroes are not on the boat, but yeah, that would have been a huge pain to sculpt tiny little people on here. But it's a shame, granted, what happens in the scene that we don't get a Quint on here, uh, but whatever. There's some nice little waves that the shark is popping out of, the boat is pulling against. And overall, I find this a really nice little piece, a nice little statue. 
there's the uh, the copyright and if we look on the bottom there's a big hole where the boat is so yeah a uh, a way to save material I guess but overall I really do like this piece a nice little sculpture of the climax there's a hole here by the bottom I wonder I don't think that's a chip I guess there's supposed to be a hole there I don't know tell me if you guys have one on yours but let's see if I can get really close without the camera messing up little steering wheel bits of the controls the barrels yeah this is fun so yeah this was actually the first one I bought just a a nice little sculpture of the climatic scene that's really great and before we move on to Jurassic Park I'll sh go ahead and show you guys the uh, the tags I already took them off they were on those little plastic things that tied them to it but here's the tags for the uh, for the aquarium models and if we flip it to the back you can see their barcodes and you can tell one Jaws swim through so that was this guy and this other one uh, Jaws boat attack and that's that guy and they're both labeled small so I wonder if I went to not Walmart but like a real pet shop do they have big Steven Spielberg ones? I'd be curious to know that. Let me get, let me know if you guys know. Uh, but anyway, moving on to the Jurassic Park ones. Two of these as well. And this one, <laughs> I was really impressed with. Look at that. Don't you just hear the Jurassic Park theme in your head when you see this? This is the iconic gates to Jurassic Park. And the doors are swinging open. You get the wildlife. And you get these torches and then the Jurassic Park logo. I mean, how cool is that? I mean, fish ornament or not, just having the Jurassic Park gate sitting there on your desk is such a cool little sculpture. And the ceramic really does lend it more weight than if it was just a little plastic sculpture, both physically and also aesthetically. Flip it to the back, you get your Jurassic Park seal there the copyright information and then here's the bottom and they do paint the plants all the way to the edges uh, yeah obviously the doors don't move but such a cool and iconic sculpt I saw this thing and I instantly fell in love with it I will say that this is out of these four sculptures probably the rarest because I had to go hunting I bought each of these one at a time um, and not every Walmart would have all four pieces. In fact, I don't think any Walmart had all four at any given time. They'd usually only have like one or two. This is the one I see the least at all the different Walmarts I look at. And this is one of the coolest, just Jurassic Park right there. It is such an iconic statue. And oh man, I really love these gates. Let's put that down there. And then the last one is pretty cool. Uh, we'll get into why it could have been cooler in a minute, but the T-Rex, the coolest dinosaur from the first Jurassic Park movie, again with the little teeth, some of them more chipped, and there's also, like this one has gray that shouldn't be right there, but I found the best painting application that the store had when I bought this. And he does have his tail, which kind of wraps around the gate. I'm guessing because if it stuck out too much, it would get hit and damaged. And Jurassic Park seal, the back of the gate, the obviously white, because if they had put holes here, they would have definitely broken. But yeah, a little white on the base as well. Grass with some rocks and the dinosaur. And I do love there's even a little warning sign and all the little lights that's cool so yeah I do love this that being said it could have been better if they had managed to do where he's inside the the main bit of the museum and the Jurassic Park flag is falling to the ground that would have been so cool but I, th I think that's what they wanted to do for this one but since these are ceramic and they do break really easily I just have a feeling that they couldn't figure out how to make that Jurassic Park banner be as loose and waving as it should be without it getting broken super easily. So I think they wanted to do that and they couldn't, so they instead put them in front of the fence. I wonder if you could have switched materials, like had an actual like 
canvas banner that you kind of glued to it or something. I don't know. That's the only solution I could think of. But as far as the second best, yeah, Jurassic Park, the T-Rex did like to hang out around the gates and that's pretty cool but what you can also do is since he's by the gates you can kind of put him you know beside and it kind of feels like part of the same diorama you know because the gates and well the fence rather and then the gate so they do kind of fit together um, but overall that is pretty cool so I wound up really liking this entire set of fish tank ornaments you know, two from Jaws, two from Jurassic Park, and these are all the ones that I saw at my local Walmart that may not be all that they make, and if we do get more in, I'll definitely try to to pick them up, because look at how cool these are. Again, I don't have a fish tank, but I'm going to be displaying them on my desk or, you know, places like that. Just, these are such cool little figures, you know, even though I don't have a fish, I had to pick them up and maybe I'll get a fish someday and just over decorate his tank or change him out regularly or something I don't know really cool ceramic figures and also if they don't have any more I would really encourage this company that's making them uh, to go ahead and make more you could obviously at least make the Jurassic Park Jeep maybe a little egg with a baby dinosaur hatching out of it that would be cool and maybe we could get a full sculpt of Jaws and we want to stick to Spielberg, he produced Gremlins, can we get a little gizmo? Ah, that would be cool. Or E.T., yeah, E.T. would be fun. I almost forgot, let me go ahead and show you the tags for the Jurassic Park ones. The logo, and then on the back, we get uh, Jurassic Park Park Gates, or Jurassic Park Gates, and uh, T-Rex Jurassic Park, and they're both labeled small. Oh, and speaking of Spielberg... There's E.T. on his little bike there. That would be a fun one, but that'd be a little more details than they could probably do in fish tank ornaments. Uh, but anyway, that's these fish tank ornaments. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope they come out with more. If you guys are, if you guys know regular pet shops, and if you've seen more of these, let me know. I'd be curious to see. Anyway, have a good day. I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Uh, relevant playlist on the bottom. Uh, if you guys want to see more, you can click there and see more. But anyway, to everyone who's liked and subscribed, thank you. You really are having, you really are helping the channel out. Have a good day, and I'll see you guys again very, very soon. Relevant playlist on the bottom. Have a good day now.